Deadly crime in Overland Park may actually be making people more aware of their settings and thinking safer. Last week, police say 49-year-old Stephen Sawyer was shot and killed while warming up his car. It happened at 83rd and Kessler. Here's Johnny Mission West High School. Tonight, no arrests have been made and police still don't know if it was a botched carjacking. The Overland Park Police Department says people in the community are thinking twice, though, before starting their cars and then just walking off. While there would normally be multiple cases of cars stolen while warming up on a cold day like this, the numbers are down. KNBC 9's Martin Augustine has that story. It's not uncommon for police departments to get reports when it gets so cold of cars that are stolen that have been left outside to warm up while the owners run back inside to stay warm. That's the case here in Overland Park that received a report along those lines this morning. It happened in these apartments at about 109th and Quivira. The Overland Park Police Department says it's a notable case. Notable because it's the only one. The department would have expected more than that on such a cold, cold morning. What the department believes is happening is that their messes they've been putting out for a long, long time about not doing that, not leaving your cars warming up uh, alone while you run back in, a message that is getting through. Plus, there's also the case of a homicide in Overland Park last week. Police working on the theory that the driver may have been targeted because he'd left his car warming up outside. These are messages that seem to be getting through. And so I think people are on the edge right now are really thinking about it, and that's what we want to continue to do is to get them to think about it and not warm it up. That theory on the homicide is a working theory. Police still following up many, many leads in that case. But when it comes to leaving your car warming up and leaving it alone, police say you shouldn't do that. Overland Park, like many cities across the Kansas City area, have ordinances in place that forbid you from doing so. Martin Augustine, KBC 9 News.